Ladies and gentlemen, there is a new season coming um, right after BlizzCon. I think the new season... Well, season two ends on the 7th, right? Season uh, two ends on the 7th. And then you basically have one week to get your character ready for the new season. And then the new season is going to start and all that good stuff. So if season three is anything like season two, there is honor gear that is literally better than conquest gear. So if you are wanting to come back to the game, you're wanting to start, you're wanting to be on an even footing, literally everyone in the game, even myself who has played throughout the entire season is gonna have that one week period to get honor gear because honor gear is literally better than last season's conquest gear. I don't know how I personally feel about that. I don't love it um, that I have to farm the gear, but if you're a returning player, uh, there's literally no better time. So. What you need to do in your one week downtime is just farm honor gear, okay? Now honor gear, easy, easy peasy, few battlegrounds. You guys know how to farm honor at this point. There uh, is like weekly, uh, or sorry, dailies you can queue. So if you do like a random battlegrounds, you're gonna get a bonus reward. Epic, you get a bonus. Skirmish, you get a bonus. Ashran, you get a bonus. I'm pretty sure the brawl for BGs is gonna be in. So the Brawl for BGs is going to be in. Uh, there's quests here if you don't know where this is. I'm right here on the map. This little cave entrance, you can come in here. This is like the PvP zone. Number there's seven. quests in here that you can do weekly uh, for world PvP, etc., etc. So make sure you do this if you want to get honor. For the most part, it's not going to matter. If you're someone who's been actively playing, you pretty much have a guarantee of having 15,000 honor. So for most people, this one week downtime with 15,000 honor, the only annoying thing for you is that you're going to have to re-gem and re-enchant uh, your gear, okay? Re-gem, re-enchant your gear, uh, which is annoying. Um, but for the most part, you have your 15,000 honor ready to go. Yeah, the gems are expensive. It sucks. You got to spend gold. Nobody likes doing that, but they're making us do it, okay? Cool. Great. Awesome. And I think you can start working on your uh, world PvP gear. So at the beginning of the season... Um, you, like I said, you get these quests. Um, those are great. Fantastic. But if you come over here to this person, uh, you can get these trophies of strife. Um, and that allows you to upgrade, uh, a little, 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 allows you to upgrade the world PVP gear, which you can get from a vendor over here, uh, via bloody tokens that you get from world PVPing. Okay. So, so far we've got the honor gear. Okay, let's just collect ourselves. We've got the honor gear. We've got the world PvP gear. Um, and then that's pretty much all you need to do. Now, the new season's going to start. And once the new season's going to start, there's a few things that I want everybody to keep in mind because I made some mistakes last season, uh, but this season is going to be a little bit different. So I wrote out a list here, like we got the honor gear. You're gonna have to do the honor gear. You got your weekly quests, okay, check. We talked about that. We talked about this. Uh, we got the world quest gear, great. That's a world PVP world quest gear. Now, the next thing we need to go over is conquest um, and crafting, okay. Um, but before we do that, I also wanna talk about the start of the season. So in the first week of the season, from what I understand, you can get two piece, okay? So you're, there's tier gear in the game. If your class uses tier in the first week, you can get two pieces of tier, okay? So right away, right off the bat, your catalyst has one charge, okay? I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna fly over to the catalyst just to show you what it is, uh, if you don't know. So the catalyst is over here. You gotta fly up, fly up, fly up, um, and you can go over here. So if you want in the first week, you can invest your arena points in a low conquest piece of gear. Um, or your conquest points, not your arena points. And then you can go over here and buy a piece of tier with it. So if your two set is really, really good, uh, I do think it is actually better to get your two set than your weapon. And the reason for that is you can buy a world PVP weapon. So what I actually recommend you do is do not buy the conquest weapon first, but use your bloody tokens and your uh, trophies to get the world PVP weapon and then uh, working on your tier uh, with the conquest that you get is what I think I'm going to do. And I think it's a smart thing to do. But anyways, you're going to be able to come over here. You're going to be able to drop a piece of gear in. You're going to be able to convert it to tier right away. That's going to be week one. You get one charge immediately. 
In addition to that, when you hit 1600, I think this is what happened in season two. When you hit 1600, you get a token for a piece of gear. Okay. You get a token for a piece of gear. It's going to pop up. Do not waste this token like I did. Okay. Do not waste this token like I did. Uh, essentially, what you're going to have to do is uh, go through these uh, Zulfurat caverns or Zeralat caverns. I'll just fly down there really quick and show you guys where it is. But once you go into the caverns, um, there's like a little vendor you can go to and you basically get one piece of gear for free and, and including it could be a non piece of tier gear. It could be a piece of tier gear. But what I think most people are going to want to do is buy a piece of tier gear and then use your catalyst week one and get your tier. So you're immediately at two set the first week if you play. And then, like I said, all you're going to have to do at that point is just continue to uh, do your conquest, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, for a lot of people, um, as, as we go down here and I'm going to show you where this vendor is, just so everybody knows the other thing that a lot of people have questions about is uh, crafted gear. So crafted gear is something we'll go into in great detail. I'm going to show you exactly how it's done. It's easy. It's peasy. Um, and yeah, we should be chilling with that, but let me show you this vendor really, really quick. If you guys have any questions, by the way, this is going to be going up on YouTube. But if you guys have any questions about gearing in my Twitch chat, feel free to ask. And then um, maybe someone else has the same question as you. But I, I think for the most part, gearing is pretty straightforward. I know it seems overwhelming, but there's really not that much to do. Um, yeah, it's basically just log on, cap your conquest for the week. Uh, if you want to stay a little bit ahead, you really don't need to do the world PVP. But if you want to have a little bit of advantage when it comes to gearing, uh, you can do the world PVP. And I think one of the really nice things about uh, honor and stuff like that is I think we're going to be able to do um, the solo queue battlegrounds, which should be fun. This is somewhere. I think it's down here. Yeah. So right down here, there is a vendor. This is where you're going to take your void touch curio or whatever it's called for the next season. And you can just buy a piece of tier. Okay. So you can come down here. You buy the tier. You're chilling. You're chilling. You're illing. Uh, so that that's that. Um, in addition, after you win your first uh, rated game, you're going to get a quest that gives you two little tokens that you can use to craft gear. Okay, so I'm going to do a very simple kind of like gear crafting guide for you guys because a lot of the gear you use is going to be crafted. It's nothing, it's nothing special. It's nothing crazy. Basically, crafted gear allows you to customize your stats um, in a much better way. So you can completely customize your stats and you can add these things called embellishments uh, to your gear. Um, but other than that, other than the embellishments, you don't necessarily need to make crafted gear, but if you wanna have um, an item, let's say here, uh, do I have anything? I have anything. It's crafted. I guess these, these boots are crafted. You can see that they have haste versatility. They have uh, an embellishment on them, but essentially for the crafted gear, it's easy, okay? You're gonna come down here, right here on the map. Yeah, crafting orders. You see me? Here it is. You're going to talk to one of these people, okay? You're going to think about, what do I want made? Okay, so let's say that I wanted to make these boots again. All I'm going to do is I'm going to go to armor. I'm a mage, so I'm going to look at cloth. I'm going to click on, click on cloth. I'm going to go to feet. I'm going to look at the slippers, and I can see all the different options that I have available, okay? So the first thing you're going to want to do is get a spark. So the most important thing is a spark. For this season, it is called a shadow flame spark. And that's gonna allow you to basically craft higher item level gear, okay? Now, the next thing you're gonna do is use a trophy. So the first thing you need is a spark. Um, and then of course you do need these other trivial reagents that you can just buy on the auction house. Most of the stuff you're just gonna buy on the auction house. Um, the only things you're not are the sparks, which you should be only able to get one spark a week. So basically you can make one piece of crafted gear a week, I do believe. Um, so one spark a week, uh, just from playing the game, you'll just get them. There might be some quests for them, but uh, yeah, you're gonna be chilling. Um, and then, yeah, if you, if you, this is for, I know you can recraft re things, uh, but this is basically for people coming back to the game that don't understand this, okay? So these trophies of conquest, I'm gonna show you where to get those really quick. All right, so the only things you really need to worry about, the only difficult reagents are going to be the trophies um, as well as the sparks. Now, the sparks, you can see 
Uh, I have a bunch of them in my inventory. Do I? Where are they? A little, little right here. Are these splinters of sparks of shadow flame? They'll probably be splinters of whatever the next spark is. Um, but yeah, you put the splinters together, um, and then you're gonna have these trophies available. So you can come over here and let's say, say for example, I instead of buying the conquest boots for 700, uh, instead what I want to do is buy. Uh, a trophy because I want to craft my own boots. So I'm going to come over here. There's three different trophies, one for uh, neck, back, wrist, fingers, one for shoulders, hands, waist, feet, one for head, chest, leg, uh, and legs. Okay, so I'm going to buy this one. Easy, peasy, lemon, squeezy. And now I have the two difficult reagents, which is going to be the spark. Like I said, you can only get one a week. Um, and then the trophy, which you either have to spend conquest on, or you get the free one at the beginning of the season. So they do give you some free, uh, crafting gear at the beginning of the season, which you'll definitely want to take advantage of. Uh, but anyways, you're going to come over here. Like I said, you're going to go to feet, like I said, and you can go to whatever piece of gear you want. Uh, and then there'll be this option that you can totally customize. I'm going to put my spark in, I'm going to put my trophy in, and then there's a few other options. Um, embellishments are cool. Uh, and you can see all the embellishments right here. So the embellishments that I want um, is going to be this one right here. Uh, become empowered when interrupted while not casting. Uh, also add unique equip embellishments. So this is the one where if you get if you get interrupted while you're not casting, you become immune to CC and immune to interrupts for four seconds. So that's one of my embellishments. You just buy this on the auction house. So you can just see what you want. Oh, maybe I want this one. Maybe I want this one. Buy it on the auction house. Um, and then you'll be able to put it in this slot. The next thing you're gonna be able to do is a missive. So these are on the auction house as well. This is where you can customize your stats. So let's say I want these boots to be haste versatility. I'm gonna have to get one of these missives uh, that shows haste versatility. So I've got my missive, I've got my embellishment. And the, the last thing is going to be, this is irrelevant. So you don't have to worry about this one. So the far left uh, empowerment is for PVE. The far right one is for PVP. So now I've got these boots. They're gonna get crafted. You, you can hover over them. You'll see it'll have the embellishment. It'll have the stats that you want once you get those two extra things from the auction house um, and you're good to go. And keep in mind when you're looking for a piece of gear that you wanna craft, um, the easiest thing to do is track the recipe. Okay. so see this track recipe and then all the ingredients are going to show up here and uh you can go you can buy what you want just get the i'll, I'll even you know what let's just go to the auction house and go shopping just so i can show you guys i want it to be clear as freaking day so everybody knows exactly what to do okay because this is the question i get the most for players returning to the game and it is a little bit confusing until you do it so there it is. I can see everything I need. Okay, we got the spool of wilder thread, pog champ. Let's buy eight of those. That's what the recipe calls for. Wonderful. Okay, we need vibrant uh, wilder cloth bolt. That's cool. Buy 10 of those. That's wonderful. Okay, now I said I wanted the foreseen. Okay, so I'm gonna look for the statuette of foreseen power. I'm gonna pretend to buy this. I'm not buying it, too expensive, sorry. Actually, I can buy one because I'll use it next season. YOLO. I'll buy it for the purposes of this demonstration. Then I'm going to search missive. Okay, what's the missive I want? Haste versatility. Lovely. Thank you. I have everything that I need. Now I'm just going to go to the here. I'm going to get all this crap that I want. And then I'm going to go over here. Um, and make the piece of gear. So let's go here, I'll go cloth, I'll go boots. Once again, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put the spark in, I'm gonna load it up with this. I'm gonna load it up with this. I'm gonna load it up with this. And then I'm gonna double check. Okay, the boots, they've got the embellishment I want. They're scaled to 450 in PVP. They got haste, they got versatility. Everything is good. And I think it's also worth noting, I gotta sneeze. It's also worth noting that uh, the power of your, like you don't need to get max, like the quality of your ingredients for your PVP gear doesn't matter. So it, this could be three stars, it could be two stars, it could be one star, just buy whatever is the cheapest and it's gonna make the same piece of gear. And then normally you need to commission people if you're a cheap ass, 500 gold. If you're like, you know, here's a decent tip, a thousand gold. If you're like, damn, I am a baller. I got gold, I don't care, I'm hooking people up. 2,000 gold, 5,000 gold, but don't get too crazy. 
And there you go. You made your first piece of gear. You're going to place the order. Someone's going to make it for you. It'll be in your mailbox and you're done. Okay. So that's my gear guide for season three. That's all you need to know. There's nothing more complicated than that. It's literally never been easier to gear in World of Warcraft. Quite literally a complete joke. Um, yep. It seems complicated. It seems daunting, but uh, that's literally all you need to do. It's really, 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 really simple. So get out there, have some fun, farm your honor gear in the one week downtime, get into the season, get crazy. And uh, yeah, let's have a great season, ladies and gentlemen.